welcome to get sudo so in today's video we are going to review the new latest version of firefox that is version 83 so this version of firefox version 83 is packed with lot of features let's see one of the security feature we have got here so the first feature we are going to talk about is HTTPS only mode so what that means is after enabling it it won't let you open any HTTP sites you can see here it's an example of HTTP site here it says uh, connection not secure it says your connection to the site is not private information you submit could be viewed by others like passwords, messages, credit cards, etc. And you can see here this site is marked as secure. So let's talk a little about HTTP here. How it is not secured and how HTTPS is more secured and encrypted. So as I said, HTTPS is more secure and HTTP is marked as connection not secure. And so why is that? So it's because HTTPS sites uses TLS as encryption. So what is TLS? Basically TLS is a standard security protocol which is used by sites. So TLS is used for encrypting communication between servers and web browsers. It tells about the sites authenticity here and it also tells about the integrity of the site. Authentication means the site with whom you are exchanging information or who they are claimed to be. That is authentication. And integrity means uh, it is not tampered or forged data you are seeing there. It's what it should be. There was no one man in the middle forging the data or something. So this way man in the middle attacks are prevented using TLS encryption. This is basic standard practice to enable TLS encryption while making any web apps that's why it is said to not give any kind of payment details or any kind of login credential to the HTTP sites because it can be monitored by other entity or any kind of man in the middle attacks can be done in HTTP sites it can be forged very easily that's how in TLS encryption helps us to prevent this kind of attacks maintaining our privacy and security browsing any kind of http sites is not very harmful if you are reading some stuff or something like that but do know you can be monitored by any other entities because there is no encryption in between server and browsers so it's recommended not to pay in these kind of sites so now let's uh, jump to the part where we are going to use this feature let's see how to use this feature so before this feature rolled out we had to use HTTPS everywhere so this is ex extension you have to add this to your browser then it will be enabling HTTPS encryption automatically on sites so before version 83 we had to do this much now we don't have to do this we don't have to download any extensions here so now let's see how to enable HTTPS only mode here you have to go to the options In privacy and security tab you can find HTTPS only mode here at last you can just search for HTTPS it, it will give you the result so you have two options here so the first thing you can notice it's not turned on by default you have to manually switch to either of these two given options enable HTTPS only mode in all windows or in private only so you can choose either of these options so you can see here this is HTTP site as you can see I'm able to reload this page it's still working now after I switch down this feature let's see so as you can see here it says a secure connection not available go back or you can continue to the site clicking here continue 
So as you can see here, clicking on any HTTP site without DLS encryption, it will give you this page. So if you just want to read something or you, want, you don't have any problem, it's totally up to you to visit any site. So you can continue to visit HTTP site here. And that will bring up the whatever site you are trying to visit. So some site containing all kind of HTTP sites. So the next feature of version 83 Firefox is about the PDF viewer. There has been some changes in the PDF viewer here. On the left corner, we've got this toggle here. Through this, we can switch to any page we like. We have two arrows up and down through which we can change one page up or one page down here on the right corner of the PDF viewer is it there's an arrow which will pop up some options here some tools like go to first page or go to last page or you can rotate it clockwise and anti-clockwise here you have the option of odd and even spreads you can view the properties here so these are there have been some changes in the pt viewer itself we have this presentation mode also so this will give you a full screen presentation other than that uh, the firefox built-in pdf viewer is now supporting acroforms so let me tell you a little about acroforms acrobat forms also known as acroforms permit using objects here like text boxes or radio buttons this is an example of the radio button so this will be giving you some option you can choose so these text boxes and radio buttons can be embedded into the pdf using acroform but we were not able to interact with these kind of pdf which supports acroforms but now after this version 83 update we are able to interact with them with our Firefox inbuilt PDF viewer. So as you can see here, this could be very useful for them to fill this up without using any other third-party tool. This is now all supported. So that was all about inbuilt PDF viewer from Firefox version 83. So the other feature is the recommendation tab by pocket here so this will be at your start page here this will be giving you the best articles from all, all web here can be useful for you it's so really up to you if, if you want this feature or not there are a lot of uh, power topics here self-improvement health or something like that technology news or you can choose your favorite category from here and continue to get these articles every day but if you don't if you don't found it useful you can go to setting here it says customize your new tab page then just click on it and that will bring you to this page again. and from here you can choose your firefox home content what you want at your home screen so you can so you can turn off the recommended by pocket and the next time you scroll down it end there so that's how it works
so another nifty feature we have here is pinch zoom in so you can you can pinch your trackpad to zoom in another feature we have got here is about pip pip is known as picture in picture mode if it's not enabled by default you can just search for picture in picture video control here and enable it going to about preference what you can do is use your right or left arrow keys to move backward or forward in a video So the dash feature we have got in our Firefox Mozilla version 83 it's about the page responsiveness and overall performance of the browser and it's because of their JS engine that is uh, JavaScript engine so let's talk a little about the JavaScript engine so basically what the JavaScript engine is the work of the JavaScript engine is to take uh, the javascript codes js codes and convert it into the machine code so that uh, the cp can understand this and that's how we get our javascript heavy sites on our browser what it does is the compiler compiles the code in form of byte codes after the javascript codes are converted into byte codes converted to machine code that is in form of one and zero now these hot codes get get directly burned into the CPU. That's how we get our web pages into our browser. So the first these JavaScript codes are converted into machine codes. The less time it takes for the browser to give us the site we want. So every browser has its own JS engine. Like the Edge browser from Microsoft uses Chakra. And we have the Firefox here which uses spider monkey and we have chrome which uses v8 so as we are talking about firefox here we're going to talk about spider monkey for a while as the spider monkey has been their javascript engine they have made changes in their js engine so let's see what are the, some changes they had made so according to them the they have increased page responsiveness by 15 percentage as well as the page load performance is increased by 12 percentage and and at last the memory usage is reduced by 8 percentage so these were some changes that had been made here in the in their spider monkey js engine so we can go to any br browser benchmark site like this site for example this site name is browserbench.org the link will be in the description box we have this speedometer which is going to measure the responsiveness of the web application so we're going to use this one speedometer to measure the responsiveness of web page so what it does is brings you this page which says start test just you have to click on it and it, it will automatically do some tasks on its own you don't have to do anything it will be doing it its own thing little tasks one by one so this app will be doing some 480 tasks like that small tasks you have to wait for it so we are going to do the same speedometer test on our edge browser as well as brave browser then we would finally be comparing them let's check out the browser's benchmark in edge browser so we're going to launch speedometer in our edge browser here and we're going to compare it with firefox so this gives us 17.9 runs per minute let's open up the brave browser and see what we get results so 
search the brave browser finished this test it is giving some about 32.6 runs per minute so now it's time to test this browser this benchmark for browser in our now we have to test this responsiveness uh, we have to test the responsiveness of our web page so now it's time to run this test on firefox version 83 so let's uh, run speedometer here and see what we get result so these were the results of speedometer from different browsers as the result shows brave browser tops the result with 32 firefox comes second with 27.6 runs per minute the brave browser tops the result because because it's chromium based browser so it's already using the chrome's v8 js engine v8 is little more optimized and efficient than spider monkey so these results are based on my laptop's specs so that's all for this video guys i hope you like the video if you like the video do like and comment thanks for watching get sudo